Hey, it's Jennifer from Happiness is Homemade 4, and welcome to my channel. All right, y'all, it's Friday, so happy weekend. All right, y'all, so we have our Dollar Tree Friday haul. I am so excited to share this with you. Um, in case you missed it, I, <laughs> I hit the Halloween jackpot the other day. So I've had two Halloween Dollar Tree haul videos this week. If you did not see those, I will link them down below in the description and maybe at the very end of this channel or at the very end of this video and you can just click on the picture. But so many brand new Halloween finds in those videos. So today's haul is a little bit of everything and it's all pretty much brand new and it's so good. So, okay, as always, I love to start my hauls with my most favorite thing and Okay, I'm just going to pick one thing because they're all so good. Look at this. Look at this rug. This is one of those little mats that they do. Now, it's not very thick, um, and you will slip and slide on this thing. So you need to either lay it on top of another rug or get one of those little rug grippers that you can get to stick underneath of it. But look at this. This is such a nice looking rug. Like, it's very pretty. Almost kind of like elegant looking. I love that. That is so nice. So I found this one. And then I found this one that says Hello Fall. Look at that truck with the sunflowers and pumpkins in the back. That is really nice. They are 15.7 inches by 23.7 inches. So I mean they're a really good size little mat. But yeah, this one right here. So this one is my favorite. I love it. I love that black. Oh, and it says, I didn't even say, it says, hi there, pumpkin. How great is that? Y'all, I have so much stuff in front of me. I'm just gonna start grabbing. There's like no order. I'm just gonna grab. I found brand new. Look at these. They have monogram leaves on wooden beads. Look at that. I found a W, so I got this for us. And look at that, it's got like a whitewashed beading. This is so nice. If you have like a vase that has like a, like a taller, like a slender neck, you could wrap that around it. If you decorate like your tables for fall, you could have this like um, everybody's initial, put it on their plates or something. I just thought this was so great. And if you cannot find your initial, get any initial and paint it. Seriously, because at first I couldn't find a W, I was gonna do that. But um, I kept digging through it and I finally found one. But you could paint this any color you wanted, add your initial to it. You could Mod Podge you some beautiful scrapbook paper on here. You know, so even if you cannot find yours, make your own, seriously. Or just use the backside, you know, and put, leave a blank or just add like a little sticker or something. I found a beautiful sign. It's so pretty. The detail to this sign right here, and it says fall is in the air. Look at that. It's beautiful. It really is. You've got pumpkins, a gourd, an apple, an apple slice. Um, you've got like corn stalks, like wheat, and just beautiful leaves. Um, a blue pumpkin down here. It's gorgeous. It really is. The only thing to me is they have this little bitty like raffia, little bow right here. Take that off there. Just be careful. Kind of pop that off there. And this would be so pretty added to a wreath. Like the scarecrow wreath that we just did. Um, instead of the scarecrow, do the same technique and put this on there. I love it. Or Dollar Tree has um, black, silver, or gold, the little wire picture holders, <laughs> you know, talking about like holds up a picture frame um, and just sit that and prop it up on your counter or something on your console table. It's beautiful. They brought back the monog <laughs> they brought back the monogram pumpkins. Last year I got white with black. This year I got the orange with the white W. I love it. And if you saw the scarecrow wreath, you probably saw this because I kind of mentioned using this, but it's so pretty. And look, Dollar Tree got smart. The little tag, like the little holder that goes on the hooks, it has the initials on it. So you, you can just kind of look at the top and kind of go through for your initials versus have like dig through. So that right there. Another W. 
Look at that. It's like the orange and white, but it's a beautiful shade of orange. The gingham with like almost like a, it's like a copper, like copper, almost like a rose gold W. Look like at that. And it's like the tag. And once again, they did the W at the top. I love this. All right, I found some little tin, like little metal signs. This one is a leaf that says fall is my favorite color. Like that. Look how cute this is and fall is my favorite color. Oh, it's beautiful. Look how cute. So I got that one. I got this one that says pumpkin spice and everything nice. Look how cute. I love that one too. And then this one is really cute. It says leaves are falling, autumn is calling. It's got like the little gnome. It's adorable. It just got like a, like a bushel of apples, like a little crate down here of apples. I love it. These are really cute too, to pop down to like a tear tray. Speaking of tear trays, the little mini hay bales are back. Look at these right here. They're little hay bales. If you could not find these last year, they are back. And you get, how many you get? Eight. You get eight little bitty hay bales. I'm gonna open this up for you. <laughs> Look how cute that is. Just little bitty hay bales. You can like stack them, put little pumpkins or something with them. They're adorable. I feel like a little sweater pumpkin and it's so cute. Look, it's like this kind of creamy with gray stitching. And it has little beads and a little tag that says thankful. You see that? Look, look how cute this little bitty like sweater pumpkin is. I just thought this was so cute. That right there. I found a sweater pumpkin on a stick. <laughs> It's this really beautiful orange, like that pumpkin kind of orange. Right there, the little sweater pumpkin. This is really nice. Pop this down into any arrangement. Or if you don't even want that, just carefully pop this off and just decorate with this little pumpkin. All right, speaking of sweater pumpkins, I found the, um, the little ones on a clip, the little alligator clips. And I found one when we were at the beach. Um, and I just found all the other colors. Look at these right here. I love this burnt orange. And like I said, it's on the little like alligator, like that little clip. So you can attach this to anything. So that beautiful burnt orange. Love this like sagey olive green. And then they have like the beige. Y'all, these are so good. Okay, more brand new finds. They could be either fall or Halloween. They have these little like wired and beaded pumpkins. Look at that right there. And it's on the little twine hanger, but you do not have to hang it. It's got a little, um, like a little burlap bow. And look, look at that. Look how nice this is. Seriously, for $1.25, Everything in my haul is $1.25. I do not have the bonus section at any of my stores. But look, so you got this one right here. I also found just a solid orange one. Look how great this is. And it just says decor. But look how nice. And then this one, this one matches everything. It's the white. The white little beaded little pumpkin. I love it. All right, and then from last year, they brought back the little soap dispensers. <laughs> They're so cute. So this one right here, now let me move the tag out of the way. You've got the little ghost, little soap dispenser, and I don't remember, coconut lime scented. So let's see. Oh, that smells good. Yeah, you can definitely get that kind of lime scent. I, me, I'm getting more lime than coconut, but that smells really good. Oh, uh, look.
let's see, and they are eight point, this one is 8.6 ounces. And then you've got this black, is it black or like a dark purple? I think it's black. The Skull Soap Dispenser. <laughs> and this one is Pomegranate Vanilla. All right, let's smell this one. It just smells clean. Like, I don't even know what a pomegranate smells like, but it smells good. Now, let me just say, it last year, if you couldn't find these last year and you can't find them again this year, we did a DIY last year of regular basic O soap from Dollar Tree. I bought everyday liquid soap dispensers at Dollar Tree and we turned them into a ghost, a pumpkin, and Frankenstein. So I'm gonna put you right here so you can see what I'm talking about. So if you cannot find these cute little soap dispensers, you can make your own. And they were even cuter. Seriously, Frankenstein was adorable. <laughs> All right, from last year, they brought back the Berry Pip Garlands. So you got this one right here, which is the white with the green. And I love these because it's a wire. So you can bend these and twist them around anything and it stays. I love this stuff. So I got the white and the green, and then I got this like, kind of like a burgundy and like an orange. These are great. If you do like a garland or like something across your mantle or something, this looks really great too. Almost like a corkscrew, just kind of like twisted throughout. But I love pit berries. And it is nine feet long, so it's really good. All right, I found this really nice leaf that's monogrammed. Look at that right there. It's got a W on it. Now I will say, as pretty as I think this is, like that print, it's very pretty. I personally don't want it. So I'm probably either gonna paint this or I'm gonna use like scrapbook paper that I love and Mod Podge it. So once again, if you cannot find your initial, get any of them and paint it or Mod Podge it. Look at that. Look how nice. Look at the back. It's solid too. And it's so thick that it'll stand. You know? So these are really nice. Yeah. All right, we're gonna stick with that kind of stuff because I found, look at this. I was shocked. Spice it up. <laughs> it's a little like to go coffee mug, a little like coffee cup. This is gonna be so cute over by like your coffee pot. If you've got like a coffee bar, a tiered tray that you decorate, um, or if not, just sit it over by your coffee pot because this is adorable. Look at that. <laughs> the browns and the orange, I love that it. it's a spice it up. I don't care for the little bow, but that's easy. Take that off and put whatever you want on there. So that one is really cute. Once again, it's thick and solid. So this will also stand. So you got that one. Look at this one. Welcome Autumn. Look how cute this one is. Once again, it's thick, so it'll stand. Um, you don't like that? Paint it. Do your own thing to it. And this one is like a little coffee pup, like a little coffee cup. It says, I leaf fall. It's like, I love fall. Look how cute. You got like the whipped cream. <laughs> and then this one, Happy pumpkin season, and I love it. Look how cute. And Presley and I both love pumpkin spice. Yeah, so once again, that same little ribbon, I would just like pop that off there. But how cute. Like I said, there's four different ones. Two of this style. Look at that. I love it. And then you have these styles. All right. What do you like the best? Which one is your favorite? I think I'm leaning more towards, um, I don't know, one of these. I love it. I found some new Halloween, um, I guess it's a ribbon. It's a sequence, sequin ribbon. So, actually I'm gonna show you all at once. I've got white, orange, black, and purple. See that? Look at that right there. And, um, let's do the orange. I think you can like see that one a little bit better. Oh, whoop. 
Look at that right there. That is so great. Seriously, add this to any little bow or something that you're gonna make. That little pop of like that glitter, that sequence. Oh my goodness, I love it. So I got this orange color. Is that pretty? I said, um, let's go ahead and just do this real quick. Here's the purple, and if you do like a hocus pocus, is that purple? And then like I said, the black, and then the white. So. I love that Dollar Tree's given us like different variations of ribbon. From last year, they brought back the little bitty like Halloween ornaments. Right here. Right there. Look at those and look at all of the beautiful like colors that you get. I love it. You get some that's like glittery, some that's um, almost looks like a disco ball. <laughs> that right there, like the, the way that they're shaped, like a little golf ball or something. But you get 16 in each package. So this one is all purple. You get 16, and then you get 16 of the little combo pack. So if you do like the little, um, so if you do like a Halloween tree, these are perfect for it. Speaking of a Halloween tree, <laughs> I grabbed the Dollar Tree Halloween tree. <laughs> these are so cute. Last year, I didn't film it because I didn't know if it was going to turn out. I made a really big tree using four of these. I did four together, I made it tall. Actually, I'll post a picture of it because I love how it turned out. But I'm thinking about making um, like a wreath, almost like a swag or something using two of these. And I don't know if you've seen these before in person, but it's like that. It's orange and black and it's sparse. It's not like a thick tree. That's why you usually have to get like two or so and put them together to make it thicker. Right, then I found some fat quarters, like the um, the craft fabric they're calling it. Look at these. That's what they look like. You've got the candy corn and spider webs. So of course, you know I'm gonna open it so we can see what it looks like. Look at that. Look at the candy corn. <laughs> you can make you a pillow with this. That right there. I love candy corn. I love to decorate with candy corn. And last year we had quite a few candy corn crafts that we did together. So if you're interested and you're gonna decorate with candy corn, um, I'll link them down below. That way you can like check out some of the ones we did last year. And we made a candy corn pillow too. All right, look at this one. Yeah. <laughs> look at the spider webs and spiders. Oh, that's awesome. All right, y'all, I got on my Shein shirt and my Shein earrings. I love it. <laughs> this is like one of my favorite shirts from that haul. Um, so if you didn't see that Shein haul and you've ever like thought about ordering from Shein, check it out. I found some of the cutest clothes that I love. And I highly recommend, I highly recommend all of them except for one bathing suit. There was one bathing suit that just didn't, I did not like. But all right, back to like brand new funds. I found a little DIY, it's a wood pumpkin picture frame. Look how adorable this is. And it comes with like a little stick, like a little stick. <laughs> comes with the, um, it comes with like a little stick for like a kickstand. That way you can like stand it up. But how cute would it be to paint this up or stain it and just put like a picture of you or your family or like your pets in it? I think this would be adorable. Especially if you have little ones that you take to the pumpkin patch or even if you like you and your spouse go to the pumpkin patch, put y'all a picture in there. That would be adorable. That right there. And it's a really good size too. Alright, I found the most amazing little signs. Um, I found it and then my dear sweet friend Pam <laughs> sent me some for my birthday. So I'm excited because now I have uh, two. But look at these. <gasps> I love it. I was shocked that this is from Dollar Tree. Seriously, $1.25, you get two, like, decent, like, it's like really nice. Look how thick that is. It's not like a cheap little thin, but you have like a cherry cobbler that says gather with, um, I guess like a whipped cream or ice cream on the top. And then this pumpkin pie slice 
is amazing. The detail that's in it, and it says give thanks. Look at that right there. I love it. Decorate with this, make you a sound with these, add these to a tear tray. I don't know, but these are so good. These need to be like on your list to look for. Love those. All right, and then, y'all, I found the most amazing signs, pictures, whatever you want to call these. I love them. Have you seen these yet? It is, they're pies. Look at this. It's like little recipe signs. All right. So you've got cherry pie. It's got like all the ingredients and like the instructions like down here, like the recipe. Look at that. It's like one of those little, like little wooden boxes that they do. There's no back to it. Look how cute that is. I love that one. So you got cherry pie. You got pecan pie. Or if you say pecan, <laughs> I say pecan. So pecan pie. And look, all the ingredients for it. And then once again, the recipe. Then they have an apple pie. And I'm going to take, um, take this plastic off so you can see it without the glare. Look. <gasps> look at that. I love it. And if you remember, we made a faux apple pie. So you could decorate having these two together. Look how cute this is going to be. Like a little, um, like a little setup, like on your table or your counter or something. Or if you have a hutch that you decorate. I love it. So that one. Hey, okay. they also have pumpkin pie, which is perfect for the fall. Look at that. I'm going to take this plastic off again. Look at that. Look how nice this is. I love it. You've got like all the cute little pictures for like the ingredients. You've got like your recipe down here, the directions. And last year we made a faux pumpkin pie. So that would be really cute. Once again, set with this. I love it. We did like faux pumpkin pie toppers. We did a faux pumpkin pie. We did like a little garland, like a little banner of pumpkin pie slices. You could really decorate with this stuff. So I love these. So these, I think, honestly, I think this pumpkin and the apple pie is probably one of my favorite finds. Okay, so that. And then, okay, shoot. <laughs> Look, you take, so take this little pumpkin pie slice. Look at that. Along with this pumpkin pie recipe. And you could have the, cute, the cutest little decoration. I found some name brand. Look at these right here. Name brand Brookstone. I think it's a store that used to be in the malls. Was it Brookstone? <laughs> yeah, I think Brookstone, did those used to be in the malls? But anyways, look at this. Look how nice this packaging is too. Like it definitely be like a gift, like a man. Look at that. Look at that right there. I love it. It's black and it's like a matte, like a matte black finish and you get clippers. You get like the large toenail size and the um, smaller fingernail size. Right there the clippers and then this you get two different um tweezers i love <laughs> i'm always plucking a hair here and there so i love a good set of tweezers so i was excited to find these and if you are an organized person get these and set them back for christmas gifts seriously these will slide right down into a christmas stocking um if you do like a minimum like like a coworker, if you do like the secret saying or something, you just need like inexpensive gift ideas, something like this. Cause really, sometimes men can be hard to buy for, especially when you don't really know them. But these are great. I found the larger candy eyeballs. Look at those right there. And these are actually candy. Like you could eat these, but they're to like decorate like cupcakes and stuff with. Um, I've already, I found the smaller ones about a month or so ago, and now this is the larger ones, right there. All right, then I grabbed us, they had pumpkin spice moon pies. <laughs> Have you ever had a moon pie? They are so good. Um, the pumpkin spice, it really, it tastes like pumpkin pie, and they're mini, so I'm going to show you what it looks like. So it's this size right here, and it's just a classic little moon pies. Let's see, it's like a smaller one. And like I said, it's pumpkin spice. It tastes like pumpkin pie. It's so good. 
I got that, and then I just got like the classic chocolate. <laughs> and you get six mini little pies in them. All right, crafter square section. I found some wood slices, and you get a two count. Look at these right here. It's like um, like they took our log and like cut little slices out of it. <laughs> look, look at these right here. Look how great these are. Um, you how cute would it be to put like a little candle like sitting on it for fall to decorate for fall with these? And I I like that idea. Like a little, a little candle, or like a little LED candle. Like I said, decorate for fall with these. I was so excited. They finally brought back the little wood dowels. <laughs> My stores have been out of these for like a year now. You get 15 pieces and they're six inches long. And it's just like the little wood dowels. I grabbed two packages because you never know when these are gonna come back in stock. Like I said, it's been over a year. Grab those. And then I found 12 inch dowels, which they're a little bit skinnier. And you get 10 of these right here. Like I said, these, um, of course you got the 12 inch, the six inch, and these are skinnier. Okay. I always get my glue sticks from Dollar Tree. You get, um, you get five of these, and these are like the big, um, like the fit. And these are like the bigger ones for my hot glue gun. I found the cutest summer sign and they just put them in the stores. Look, look how cute that is. I wish I would have found this like more like June, July, but I love it and I'll have it for next year. But it's got like the little like uh, mason jar of lemonade. It says be cool. <laughs> it's so cute. Okay, I'm, I found amazing greenery. Look at this right here. Um, I guess about a month or so ago, I found one was like more like kind of like fall colors, but this is just greens and it's beautiful. Imagine this like cascading down like a wall basket or like a mantle or something. I love it. So I have, this is what one looks like. This right here, that's one stem. Look how great that is. And it's just called decor. Like it doesn't really say like what it is, but look at the leaves on it. So I did, I grabbed three of these. They're so nice. And this right here, seriously, I mean, looks like Hobby Lobby. So I got all of this right here for $3, for $3.75 I got all this right here and it would cost me a lot more at Hobby Lobby for something like this. And I grabbed, um, they had tag back in stock. So it's the Tag Sport Body Wash. This is actually three in one, shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. Um, and it's the Fearless, the blue, right there. And Riley loves this kind of stuff. He loves like the masculine soaps. <laughs> but it does, it smells really good. So I got that and it's 18 full ounces. So that's for Riley. I grabbed him a new navy blue Sharpie for all of his drawings. And then I got him this because he's doing cross country. So like they're running every single day after school. Um, it's like a little armband to put his phone in. So that way while he's running, he can listen to his AirPods. Um, because if it's in his pocket, his phone kind of like kits as he's running. So I thought this way he could like strap it around his arm. Let's see. Yeah, so it comes like this and then it goes around your arm. So then you can put your phone in here. That way you can run and listen to music. So hopefully this will fit his little skinny arm. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> I found the most amazing soap dispenser. Look at this. It is amber glass. Y'all, amber glass is so like popular and stuff for the fall. Look at this. And you can put this in your bathroom or kitchen. Um, they had two different ones. This one says, keep calm and wash your hands. And I took a picture of the other one, so I'll post it right here so you can see what it looks like. Because I don't remember what it said. But look at that. Even if you don't like this, you could take like, um, say sometimes you could take like nail polish remover and get that off. Or it, you could just turn it around and use this side. 
but this is a real and it's glass. This is really, really nice. And this would make like a great gift for someone. Right. Um, how big is it? It is 16.27 full ounces. All right, I found some great fall signs. It probably not coming like what you're thinking, but football. <laughs> I love it. I was shocked that Dollar Tree had these amazing football signs because normally you only see stuff like that at Hobby Lobby. But this says family, food, and football, and food and and, and a leaf is in glitter. Look at that. And look, this is a really good size. How cute would this be on a wreath? Make you a big old football wreath. I love it. So that right there. Um, you could also maybe do like a, something like a table topper with it. So that. They have, it's not fall without football, and football is in white glitter. <laughs> it's awesome. And the green, it's like um, the football field in the background. You've got like all the lines, all the markers. Look at that. How great. And my friend Pam, she just did a, a DIY where she made like a door hanger using both of these. It was so cute. I, just, I told her I was going to have to like uh, steal her idea because it was so cute. So that right there. Then this one, I love it too. Family, friends, and then like a, a glittery football. Look at that. And it's a yard stake. Now, like on football days, you know, like maybe put this in your front yard. Um, I would not leave it out in the rain because this is not wood and it will like fall apart on you. So, but if you have like a planter on your front porch, like a covered porch, you could pop this down in there. Or just for like game day, put it out front and then bring it back in. Look at that. How cute. All right. And then speaking of the football, I got another football wreath form. If you've seen these at Dollar Tree, last year we did a step-by-step -step video showing how to make your football. Um, I will, I'll put a picture right here so you can see what I'm talking about. Um, and you can do bows on it. Like I had uh, red and black for Louisville. Um, you could switch it out like for us, like being the Ravens or the Broncos. You could do like purple and black or orange and blue for the Broncos. Whatever your team is, just add you like your colored ribbon and bow for it. All right. <laughs> My last thing is I grabbed this long, it's called a long reach and pickup. Look at this right here. <laughs> it's like this stick. And it, you squeeze the handle, and it's a pincher. So that it pinches. Because I have some socks that have fallen down behind the dryer, and without Riley's help, I can't get down there to get it. So I figured he could get on top of the dryer and reach down and like pick up the socks that fell behind, <laughs> that fell behind the dryer with this. So, hey, you gotta get creative sometimes. But this right here could be great for like so many things too. If you have trouble bending over and like picking up things, get you something like this. Um, now I'm not sure like if it could pick up anything heavy, but for picking up like socks or little towels behind the dryer, this is gonna be great. <laughs> so. But all right, um, this, all right, so I know this haul was big. It was like a little mixture of everything, but I love this time of year because every time you go into Dollar Tree, it's always something new. Whether it's gonna be fall, Halloween, just new everyday items, and then before you know it, they're gonna start sneaking in some Christmas on us. But I love it all. I love to decorate for the holidays and different seasons. So, yeah, so like I said, I did two other Dollar Tree Halloween hauls. So once again, I'll link those down below for you in case you missed them, but all right. I hope that you have a wonderful weekend, relax and take care of yourself, and I will see y'all next time. Bye guys. Thanks for watching.